Hey, Chris here, and today I'm taking a look at this high-speed dash cam, uh, and I was sent this for the purpose of this review, but I'll go ahead and give my honest first impressions and opinion of this. So, um, my idea for this was to give this to my little brother. Uh, it's this car, actually, this Honda Element. He doesn't have any, um, any cameras in here whatsoever, so I figured this could be good safety precaution, too. So, first thing I see is going to be the dash cam itself. It does have a good weight to it. Uh, just to give you an idea of how, uh, how, how kind of uh, small this is, this is my iPhone uh, 12 Pro Max and then this what the screen looks like uh, and then right up top over here we see a few cables so this would be for the HDMI and then here for the USB so to go ahead and actually um, give it power uh, on the side we have several buttons over here so OK, M, uh, a lock and a power button and then on the other side we have three buttons followed by a micro SD card it's a oh that's nice comes with a 64 gigabyte up on top we just have the microphone and then just a little hole for the reset button so I'll put that to the side next things here are gonna be a lot of cables uh, a little tool to go ahead and lift up this adapter for the micro SD card to USB uh, and finally the manual so I took everything out of the plastic and this is what we get we're gonna have the charging cable the mounting bracket cable with a camera or sensor and finally the actual power cable which goes to the cigarette lighter so I'm inside my RAV4 instead just because the uh, outlet uh, for the cigarette lighter in my brother's car wasn't working so I couldn't be able to um, actually use this all right I can put this right over here just like that and now I can stick the dash cam up on my windshield so right there is good so just push it in the place and then push this little piece upwards and then it'll get stuck right in there and here I can orient it like just like that nicely and there and now to actually go ahead and work this I can just turn my car on and now I got the welcome and here it is oh yeah so immediately in the upper right corner uh, I see that uh, it's recording and I see how many seconds have gone by so far. I see the little red dot over here blinking on and off, which means it's recording. Uh, and then at the bottom here, uh, I could see the date, which is incorrect. So I can fix that. All right, there. I went ahead and just tightened this into place so now it won't come loose. And there. Now there also are additional buttons on the side over here. All right, so I took this off and I got a chance to mess with these buttons a little bit more. So right on the side over here, uh, there's going to be these four buttons. Uh, and if I press the M button, uh, which would be the second button uh, from the top, it'll go ahead and switch the modes. So right now, uh, this is going to be the camera mode. And the reason I know it is because, well, on the upper right corner here, I could see a little bit, little camera icon. And then all the way to the right, I could see 99999, which is how many photos I can take. There, so I can cycle through this again, press the M button one more time. Now it'll take me to the videos that I just took and I press it one more time and it'll take me to uh, the actual camera to record. So if I want to go ahead and start recording immediately, I can just press the upper button right over here, press OK. And it immediately starts recording and then you can see on the top right corner over here, uh, it's going to be red. And then on the, le on the left side, you can see that button blinking. And if I want to go ahead and stop, I can press the same button, OK, and it'll stop. And again, I can go press the uh, M button. There, this is going to be the video that I just took. And though I actually played, I can press OK. And it immediately starts recording, and then you can see on the top right corner over here, it's going to be red. And then on the, le on the left side, you can see that button blinking. And if I want to go ahead and stop, I can press the same button. Now, if I want to go ahead and cycle through all these different videos or images, uh, on the left side over here, I'm going to have these buttons, so I can press the bottom one to cycle. So this is the previous one I took, and the previous video, and the previous videos. And I'll go back all the way to the most recent. And then in the in the middle, over here, this is going to be like a menu button. So I'll get to go ahead and cycle more through everything else it has. So right here, delete, protection, slideshow. And if I press that uh, same button again, it'll take me to the different uh, menu, which gives me a lot more options. So to get out of the menu again, I just have to press it a third time. So one, two, and then three gets out. But yeah, this is what the dash cam end up looking like. Uh, I think it's a real 
a nice one. It's a good form factor. Oh yeah, I forgot I still do have that little uh, sticker over here, so I'm not sure how the quality is going to be with that. And then I also have the plastic on top over here just because I'll keep it on it. It'll be kind of like a screen protector. And then I kind of put this back up over here. And then just tighten this right over here and then there. But yeah, that's a quick overview of the dash cam.